to jump right into the information. We'll kind of let people trickle in. This is a good time for us to address like the people that are showing up. So mm -hmm. Say hi, let everybody get settled. Three, two, one. Are we live? No. <laughs> we should be. Yeah, it's, it's live there. No. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> I'm waiting on it to show up on my phone. There's a delay. There's a delay, yeah, it's about a 10 second delay. Here. All right, well, just in case we are alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sit here. Yeah. Don't pick your nose. Don't oh, yeah, you all are. Thanks. Oh, you forgot. There we go. I got it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. You got it? Mm -hmm. Get out of that one. There you go. You just keep looking at your phone. You're just like all these young kids. Yeah. Now. Just look yeah. at your phone. It's out there. And ignore these, it's right out here. And ignore these people that came to see us. They're yeah. here. I guess that just confirmed that I'm old. Yeah. Huh? I can start watching now. <laughs> David, you're live. I got texted by our general manager. You're <laughs> live. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> well, anyway, um, thank hey, you guys. We're live. Here. Yeah, we're a professional. <laughs> Episode three. Yeah. Right. Third uh, episode okay. of season nine. We were at the Price Filler Machine Show. I thought it was season uh, the fourth episode. So hey, um, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff from <laughs> Ottawa, Ottawa uh, Valerie from Houston, uh, Gregor from Scotland. What? Hey. Scotland. hey. What part of Scotland? Wait, Scotland. Gregor, yeah. what part of Scotland? And yeah, um, we're uh, we're also uh, you know, that's all foreigners. Farn foreigners. Foreigners. Right. That's a time difference. <laughs> time difference. If, if he's near Campbelltown. Another place. Uh, well, Watch out. <laughs> guys, welcome to uh, the uh, hallway at the Stone House. That's right. This is, Upstairs uh, hallway. The second Upstairs. floor. Yep. We're yeah. looking out at the Memorial Bridge. Right. Right here. Part of our show build last night uh, was uh, the coffee bar that we have right here. Hello. It's, uh, it's in full operation. Robert has fallen completely in love with the uh, coffee maker. <laughs> this is a pretty... You, know you know why I'm in love with this particular coffee maker? No. Right. Because I don't have to go change the add water to it. It's plumbed into the wall. It's hard line. Yes. Plumbed. That's why. Wow. That's why. Yeah, there's I'm nothing not more aggravating than the first thing in the morning, going down to get your coffee, and of course your wife has already used up all the water <laughs> before you got there, and you never replace it. It's just like toilet paper rolls. Oh, yeah. You never oh, replace it. Robert's got a few pets in each. That's there you go. Go. I've got a lot of you. Well, well it's the same as the shop, right? Leave it ready for the next guy. To exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. We can do a lot of analysis. Yeah, it's just like all these other. That'll be the next uh, what uh, session with the uh, you know the shrink. Yeah. So there's a lot of other, <laughs> the other features to the coffee bar. This is upstairs, and we've got uh, three complete suites. Uh, That's right. Uh, two smaller, each with their own in-suite bath, and then a master suite with a pretty extensive bathroom in that. And just outside in the hallway, there's a, some, a sitting area in this hall. As well as this coffee bar, which is, of course, you can get coffee at, and there may be some other things that you might want to store in the refrigerator here. Yeah. Um, the parts of this bar uh, are this is the uh, Western Red Cedar we got from the Bird House down in Winston Salem. Yep. These are from the Ludwig Mansion. That uh, is that the one you They've broke? They've been improved. <laughs> yeah. That's the one, one I broke. Excellent. Well, these improved. are the ones that uh, we were racing, right? I was set a timer and I was, <laughs> I was yeah. racing against yeah. the clock. Yeah. Yeah, during the episode. Pretty fast. Yeah. Well, like yes. Let's minutes. say they came out of that house a lot quicker than they went into this. Well, yeah, but you got them out without breaking. Well, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Are you making an illusion that someone... Did <laughs> y'all just uh, feel that bus come by? <laughs> <laughs> I, just got thrown I was in. right there on the show. I mean, everybody wants to, wants I know, to but you know, visit the show a little bit. And that was, I think, a key point. For me. Does anyone have it up on their So, uh... So also up here on the on the second floor beyond the uh, the coffee bar, the sitting area. There's also that. I don't know. Can they see that uh, the door, door in the back? Uh, they can see the gray ones here, but not that one. Okay. okay. Well, right down the hallway is a doorway to a second floor deck that gives you a beautiful view of uh, is that a uh, the river. Is that called Lanai? No, maybe underneath could be called Lanai. Okay. I'm just trying to throw a word out there. So you can enjoy your, your coffee out yeah. there in the morning or in the evenings because this doesn't have to be for coffee. You can store your Afternoon beverage as well yeah. in this refrigerator. Adult or it's, it's a Adult beverage or service. Prune juice. Beverage, right? That's yeah. the afternoon beverage. <laughs> prune juice. <laughs> so you can take your prune juice out on the deck and enjoy it up there as yeah. well. You don't even have to move downstairs. You're, you're, you're going to be here a lot. A little vodka maybe in the fridge. <laughs> wow, that's a bad company. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you see the lights? Oh, that's so cool. Uh, I'm sure you're no, okay. no. Anyway, well, right over my head, some beautiful uh, antique light fixtures, and they came from the Robert E. Lee Hotel. 
way back. Season this one, I believe. whole house yeah. is full of salvage, guys. How you can use it. Yeah, you know, so it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, this thing is coming online uh, actually next week or today. Our crew club is, uh, has been um, just notified, I think, a few hours ago, yeah, so they can start signing up. So first if you're a member rent. of the crew club, and if you're not, it's not too late. You can get uh, you can do early bookings on the house. Uh, it's uh, it's ready to go. Uh, Lucy Walton will be our general manager here, and uh, you can get in contact with her. She uh, she will be handling all that, and also through VRBO. That's correct. VRBO. Okay. What's the uh, I think uh, Stonehouse at BlackDogSalvage.com. Yes. So Stonehouse at BlackDogSalvage.com. Talk to Lucy. She'll get you hooked up. And I think July 1st is the first day that you can rent. You'll be able right. to rent. So just to clarify, it is not available for booking at all unless you're a member of our crew club for the next seven days. Right. For the next week. Right. And that's only email only. Correct? That's email only. Yeah. VRBO. So again, that's email that. only. Uh, Stone the Stonehouse or just Stone Stonehouse. Stonehouse at BlackHawkSalvage.com Black yeah. for the next week. Uh, join the crew club. You get all kinds of other benefits. Uh, check our website for crew club details. The one big detail for this week is that you can uh, be the first. reserve any date. You know, yeah. if you got a wedding coming up or a business week. party or any of that. Yeah. Absolutely. And then no um, it opens up to booking for the the rest General of the world. The world. The world. Um, yeah. Next week. I've been in Scotland, Scotland, Ottawa already. And I said, come on, guys. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, I have someone here that um, gave us a shout out, Simon Downey from England. Simon. Um, last week. So thanks for nice. thanks for watching the show and shouting us out and. Um, Going back to like the uh, you know overseas, we don't know what season you guys are on. If you're overseas, let us know. Um, Absolutely. Because I don't think you're on season nine yet. I think it kind of airs first here and then. Yeah. You but, got something um, to look forward to. Yeah. Well, and the, the beautiful way that television works is that we have no idea how it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing we've learned over nine seasons. Yeah. We have no idea yeah. what this television is. We know everything about. we don't know, yeah. which is a lot. Um, and another shout out we have is from Melanie Cannon, who could not participate because she's working in the live video today. Sure. She's just going to be learning, which makes sense. You know, noon is kind of hard for people. Yeah. Thank you for being respectful to your boss. Yes, <laughs> that's true. But um, because it's a live video, it'll still be, you know, able, you'll be able to watch it on our Facebook page indefinitely. So right. after work, when you have time, we hope that you can join us and comment there. We'll get back to your comments or questions next live video. Sure. There are some questions. Uh, there are some people that have not heard about this house at all. So just to back up a bit briefly, this is going to be a luxury vacation rental property. It's um, located right next to Black Dog property. Salvage, right here in the uh, next to the park in the right. Greenway, on the river, on right of Hilo of the Roanoke River. So mm -hmm. if you're coming in the town and you need a place to stay, or you want to come here just for this, uh, you can check it out on our website. And I've shot some video, and we'll do a. When, we're almost done, so when we're done, we'll do a bunch of final photos, and uh, again in a week it'll be up on VRBO. And, yeah. and yeah, this uh, the cool thing of, again about the house is it was built in 1911. And uh, for the last 25 years, it was abandoned, with the exception of uh, the shooting of uh, uh, the Salvage Dogs right. interviews. We used it for seasons one through five. And uh, we finally decided that we were the higher and better use for it. So we've, uh, we took it apart from the inside out, rebuilt it with uh, its, some of its existing parts, and then some uh, salvage parts from all over our experience. Yeah. So you, you can see the that. trim, so that's all original yeah, you trim. You have to have an app to take a shower, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your smartphone and it's show got some, about it. It's got, so some he's not modern, shower. Yeah, it's got some very modern technology, as well as a lot of old things in it, just as you'd expect from uh, Black Dog Salvage. Uh, we've been working on it for really a couple of years, and the construction has taken about eight months. Uh, it's starting to wrap up, and so we're Is that ahead of schedule or behind schedule? That's uh, we're behind schedule and over budget, just as we always are. <laughs> yeah, hold on. We lost. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Yeah, we're behind schedule. 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 Where's Gary when you need him? Uh, Mark. There we go. Hey. And we're back. All right. I think Jack's watching with us. We could use Jack. Yeah. Jack. 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 Hey, Jack. One, listen, one technical issue and I get thrown under the bus. Yeah. 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 That's great. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah. One uh, window broken. So we'll go over the bill real quick. 
you said that you mentioned the Western Red Sea. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, these countertops was my first and second attempt at breaking sheet metal. Yeah. And uh, okay, what well is, is this? Uh, is, what kind of material is this? This is galvanized. Uh, galvanized steel. Is, that, is it uh, galvanized or is it zinc? Not galvanized zinc. This, this is, is galvanized. Galvanized. Gotcha. You wouldn't let us, you wouldn't let us put zinc on it. Well, and, yeah, right? and zinc was I could not figure out how to weld the corners on uh, zinc. Oh uh, yeah. Um, we'll which, by the way, uh, having the TIG welder from Miller was super crucial, mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned on my page last night. Uh, well, this is 18 gauge sheet metal, and you'll, it's so easy to blow through. So having the, the right equipment, you know, that I can dial in the right settings. Is we got great awesome. sponsors, one of them being Miller also with Woodcraft and all the tools we use to uh, to uh, do, do, this, do. This, this project. We well, have yeah, another great opportunity to mention some of the other things that are in the house beyond uh, beyond what made this put this together. Uh, uh, Moen supplied all the plumbing fixtures for us, really nice. and yeah. Ferguson Enterprises, a big big uh, plumbing supplier, also uh, contributed quite a few uh, fixtures and were a great help even with the uh, craft uh, craft made light uh, fan lights that are in the house. So it's uh, a mountain lumber out of uh, uh, Rockersville, Rockersville, Virginia, actually supplied some reclaimed uh, flooring where we couldn't <laughs> save the original flooring. So the master, and, uh, the master bedroom and, and the kitchen. Someone washing down some things. So we're still, uh, they're still working, by the way. You know, they're going to chase us out here in a minute. So, <laughs> so we have, we've got a lot of support uh, from, the, uh, uh, from our vendors, and we appreciate it very much, whether it's on the show or in the, in the stone house at Black Dog South. It's a big project. It takes yeah. a lot of people yeah. to make takes, it happen. Yeah. It takes an army. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, takes a takes a bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, First citizens bank. By the way, <laughs> you know, how I can forget them? I don't know. Uh, they don't forget me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Um, anyway, right. Well, that's the build. That's the house. Uh, what else happened in the episode? We went to the Price Killer Price Machine Shop yeah. downtown, which is a property that uh, Dad here bought with a local. Uh, can you say yeah, Dale, Dale Wilkinson. Yeah, Dale, he's probably not watching it. I hope he is. But uh, yeah, this was a piece of a, a local history, 1920s machine shop. Mm -hmm. That was a uh, really a kind of a staple here. All, as you saw in the, if you watched the episode, all uh, belt-driven uh, yep. machinery. A lot of the machines ran off the, what's called a line shaft, which is a, a, a drive shaft that's mounted in the ceiling. Powered by an old motor that then spins everything out. I think originally it was powered by donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you say that, as I've been learning, that whole string of building uh, buildings, fun fact, was actually built for Roanoke's horse and carriage fleet. Yeah. Oh. Everything there on, on Roar. Probably so it was always been like a vehicle. Right. You know, and then I'm something. sure yeah, they went to trucks and then they probably yeah. needed to start fixing the trucks. There was a fertilizer there. business there somewhere. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Right. But the, the building's really cool and the machinery in it uh, is. It's, it's like a museum, uh, and we're doing, I've been working there two days a week to try to um, find a home for the pieces of equipment that are no longer usable to us, but are definitely more useful than scrap metal. So I've been uh, tooling around some vintage machinery forums. So and we're going to retain guys. a lot of the uh, vintage uh, machinery just for a display and example mm -hmm. of what it used to be, but also we want to make this thing into a maker space where we create uh, things like we do in our shop, but maybe a little bit more open to the, the public, where artists and artisans can come in and and plow their wares. Maybe and, teach classes if right. there's people, you know, on the weekends that want to come in and learn how to do some woodwork. Yeah, and I'll be there performing uh, as a poet <laughs> and a cowboy physicist and, and, and a bourbon drinker. <laughs> so, oh, perfect! We're gonna have alcohol. Yeah, yeah, alcohol. Yeah. alcohol will be available. All the, <laughs> all the machines will have cup holders on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Right. Got a lot, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting yeah. shut down before we open. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So really cool addition to downtown Roanoke. It's a lot of dirty work, but follow uh, my page, Tay Whiteside Dash Black Dog Savage, and I will post a bunch of photos of the machinery and the space in high resolution so you can check out the space and let us and, know your ideas and again we're uh, we're open but we just want to turn this thing into uh, a space that really kind of yeah. is uh, for the younger generation you know the older generation just wants to sit up front and drink bourbon, bourbon. evidently write poetry <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how it is what else robert can we Slacker of the month. month. Um, oh, okay, so submissions. We're still accepting submissions for correct. June. Correct. Speaking of maker space, a good segue that yeah. we totally missed. <laughs> um, maker of the month. I did announce the winner for the uh, May uh, contest. We are now accepting submissions for the June 
contest. Submit uh, what it is. If you don't know what Maker of the Month is, is a cool contest uh, that you anyone can enter. And to enter, you uh, make you build something like this. Doesn't have to be this crazy, but build it out of 75% salvage material at least. You know, the point is to upcycle something. Don't go to you know a big box store and buy a bunch of two by fours and stuff. I mean, that's you know that doesn't really result in a good build anyway. But um, if you do that, if you build something, um, take a picture of it, write a small story about it, and email it to maker of the month at blackdogsalvage.com, and we will then pick our five favorite finalists, and we meaning us and the guys down in the shop, and then we'll put it up for vote, and the winner of that vote wins a pair of Keen Utility boots, which we are right. rocking in sports. <laughs> uh, and bragging rights, that's right. Um, pretty cool way, I think, to uh, connect with the maker community and See what kind of skills you guys have. It's all about, Mike always says, like, it's all about sharing ideas. So. And honoring the salvage and the upcycling. So, you know, we, uh, we love the noise behind us because that's work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, it's a way to uh, get on a platform to show what you do, but to honor the, uh, the craftsmanship of the uh, extra that. That's all it. Right. So, yeah, you make some else? stuff, watch some stuff, drink some stuff, build some stuff. Yeah, and come stay with us. All that. Ah, uh, come stay with us. Uh, and I think in next weekend's episode features the vanity. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next week's uh, after show, we'll move into this next room here and we'll the show master you the bath. master this, bath. This is, uh, this, you're going to see this master bath in uh, many magazines because it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it is beautiful. It really yeah. turned out well. The whole house did, but yeah, that's, uh, that's Robert's uh, dream right. bathroom over there. So, uh, <laughs> I'll be there. He'll be there. <laughs> We'll make sure we catch him in between showers. <laughs> Fully clothed. One, one question from Tim. Mike, what injuries did you get during the machine shop episode that we are not aware of? Uh, oh. Yeah, you know, I, I stopped bleeding uh, uh, second season. So, uh, you know, I got a new couple, nothing, nothing major. We'll skip. I mean, everybody else is really kind of hurting themselves more than I am. So, uh, you know, I think I'm getting a little bit smarter with good. age. Yeah. Uh, but didn't hurt myself. Unscathed. Judy thinks you look hot in shorts. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you, Jay. On that note, <laughs> yeah, everybody's, everybody's clicking now. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was about. Thank you, everybody, for the support, to tuning in to not only the episode, but these after shows. Hopefully, you all like what we're doing, and we're looking forward to having you come Please stay here. Good. Yeah, we got yeah. a lot of good episodes coming up this season, so we're not we're on even halfway through. So stay tuned. Give us some feedback and your comments. Thanks, folks. Bye, everybody. See ya. Ciao. Later. Bye, Jack. <laughs> <laughs>